It's Friday and I ain't in love. No, not at all. In fact, I'm pissed. I'm pissed at the BBC because it seems like they're going to ruin another favorite franchise of mine. Discworld. this is Geek and if you're new to the channel please press the like button press the subscribe button because I can see that we're gonna have so much fun poking fun at this series the words that is influenced oh no wait a minute let me show you to you this based on the characters from Terry Pratchett this world novels and basically they mean the Nightwatch uh, sub-series of this world with uh, Captain Vimes and his crew. So yes, we have some first images. We have a Carrot, Angua, uh, the Carcer from uh, the Nightwatch novel, which I haven't read yet. We have Cheery. This is Cheery. Angua again. And uh, who's she? Never mind. This is Vimes. And I've got to say that, okay, this is Richard Dormer from Game of Thrones. And he looks great as Vimes. I really like, I really dig his style. Angua is uh, scruffy looking, uh, kind of interesting casting. I like her. Carrot looks like Carrot. I like Carrot as the casting, and uh, the Carcer, the villain, is great. I don't get, though, where he found those two space marines, because it's this world, and as far as I remember, there are no space marines on this world, right? I mean, uh, they have power armor, they've got uh, bolters, uh, what else? I mean, uh, what's that? And then we have Tiri, who is in the books. She's supposed to be a dwarf, and here, um, Tiri is played by Joe Eaton Kent, and is an ingenious non-binary forensics expert, ostracized by their kid and finding a new home and identity, which is uh, not Tiri at all from the Discord novels, but then again it's based on the characters, so, I mean, uh, come on you nerd, you don't want to be, to be like the books. And let's see some more. Um, so we have uh, Dormer as uh, some Vimes. He's the captain of the world, disempowered by a broken society that reduced his department to almost nothing. Yes, this is Vimes. We have Tiri, who is, uh, has another beard, like a dwarf. As far as I remember, um, Tiri had a beard in the novels, but then again, I may be wrong about it. But the whole point is that she's a dwarf, and in this world, uh, because Terry Pratchett is a great um, writer and very smart guy, he took notice that there are only male dwarfs, and he came up with the idea that in his world, in this world, dwarfs only have one gender, and male and female dwarfs look the same. So Ciri is the first to um, embrace her feminine side like, you know, people in uh, Armour would do, and she's ostracized for that. And that's a very powerful idea. It's, original, it's an original idea, and it's very powerful about finding yourself in your identity in a society that uh, doesn't um, allow you to. I guess they change that, and I would love to have uh, bird a dwarf and lady here. But, oh well. I mean, it's not the worst offense. I mean, do they look like a watch? Do they have their armors? No, they don't. They look like uh, it's a reboot of Firefly or something. Then we have Adam Hughagil, who plays Carrot. He is an idealistic new recruit. He's raised by dwarves, but he's a uh, human abandoned birth. Uh, basically, uh, Carrot was in the first novel in um, God's Guards, along with Vimes. Uh, the rest of the cast came later. He was the idealistic um, 
He's basically Wolfgar from uh, the Dreams novels by Salvatore. On his satire, he's the seven foot dwarf. He's a huge uh, guy who is. Um, and he was raised by dwarves. And he's a really good guy. He's the white knight compared to Vimes, who is a dark knight kind of character. He's a very cynical and uh, card is very idealistic. I think they were great. They were great in God's Guards, and I think if they keep the dynamic between those two characters, because in God's Guards, uh, Carl and his enthusiasm and his uh, moral values allow Vimes to uh, get out of his cynicism and do their thing. And uh, Marama Car Carlet is the uh, Corporal Angua, who is tasked with Carl's training and keeping the rookie alive. Uh, Yes, uh, in the book, Sangua came uh, later, and um, then we have Lara Rossi, who plays Lady Civil Ramkin, last side of Armorco's nobility, who's trying to fix the city wrongs from he with her chaotic vigilantism. That's not Lady Civil, the books, and um, now let's get to the part where I get angry. Where is Nobs? Where is Colm? Where are the other characters from um, the Ghost Guards? Uh, I mean, okay, you don't have the budget to do a dirty dish, but you have Angua and Chiri and uh, Nanabs. I mean, um, the main... The great thing about uh, the Guard, the original Guard, because uh, Angua and Chiri uh, and dirty dish came later on, I think, in Men at Arms, where uh, Terry Prasad was uh, doing a um, book about, about the positive actions taken for including minorities in the police departments of the UK. And that's why we have Angua, who is an undead, says a werewolf, and all those dwarves, including Thierry. And Thierry has to face uh, the odd looks from uh, the rest of the dwarves as she transforms to a more feminine version of herself in the books. And now the only dwarf here is Karat. I don't know, really. I mean, come on, the whole point of Gar Guard is that we have Vimes, who is smart and cynical. We have Carrot, who is uh, idealistic and uh, pretends not to be smart. We have Nobby, who is um, dumb and cynical. And we have Carrot, who is um, dumb and doesn't care. And Nobby, of course, is a rascal and he tries to um, run out of scams and uh, he's very dishonest and uh, those two work together great and I think that Angua will be a little bit of uh, knobs in this version. But then again, I don't know, I mean, I think they're me messing too much with the original and that's not that good because the original is great and they don't practice it. I'm not sure. I think they're going for a punk thriller. For the series, I guess this is Lady Sibyl. And says Batman. But yes, the main thing is that these characters look like they're out of Firefly. It's a... Uh, they say it's a punk thr thriller. It's very steampunky. You know, which would be interesting, I guess. And now let's go to... Um, Rihanna Pratchett, Terry Pratchett's daughter, who was um, supposed to work in um, the Watch reboot, and um, she says she's not involved. There have been many changes since the original plan she had for the Watch series. So yes, uh, this uh, looks like it's going to it's going to be a trash fire, and maybe she will piss all over it. I'm not excited for the Watts. I mean, I was not expecting a good adaptation of the Watts of a Terry Pratchett book because Terry Pratchett is a legend. It's very hard to get his uh, weight, his depth, his writing, and his characters. And this looks. Bad. It looks very bad, and I know there are many people on Twitter who are like this. Uh, this looks trash. This is, looks awful. This is gonna be awful. Uh, I don't get it. 
it doesn't feel like um, it doesn't feel like this scroll really. That's bad. So uh, stay tuned. I guess it will hit uh, sometime in the future, and I'll be here to uh, poke fun on it a bit, and maybe um, it'll be good. I don't know. So thank you for watching. Tell me your opinions about the, these photos from the woods. And if you believe that I'm wrong, I'm just, you know, a uh, man baby complaining that they changed his, the book he likes and it's an adaption and uh, blah, 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 blah. You can dislike this video if you get this far. If you just click and dislike this video at the moment that uh, you clicked on it, back off because this video is for children. And, um, if you liked this video, please press the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.